What's going on guys, Dan Bravo here. Today I will be taking out my, potentially my favorite chase out of its box and I will be putting it into a clear protector so I can display it. Um, I think this is probably my favorite chase, like I said, just because of the fact that um, it is a metallic uh, pop. Obviously the common is just a regular vinyl whereas the chase is metallic and his eyes are red it's pretty dope um i remember i ordered this i think during the first drop of the pre-orders and luckily managed to get the chance and get the chase with only ordering one so the reasons why i want to display it outside of its box i have multiple reasons one a lot of you guys know that walmart's shipment isn't the best so it came a little dinged up but i think i also want to display it like i said it is because of the fact that it is metallic and i don't think you could really get to admire it as much in this regular box versus the clear one that i'll be putting it in i think it will look much better in the clear protector than inside of this box uh, I initially wanted to display it completely out of box, but I don't want it to get like dusty or messed up. So I think I'm going to take it out um, with the, hol the plastic holder still in it and then just put it into a 10 inch protector instead. I think it'll look really nice, which I already have it set up here. Uh, I even bought an extra chase sticker to put on. I think um, it'll look really good in that. I wanted to save time and instead of showing you guys how much I was struggling to put this a uh, flimsy protector together. I already have it all set up. So I'm just gonna slide this bad boy out of here, place it in there. But obviously before I place it in there, I will definitely wanna take a closer look at the pop. So let me get this boy, bad boy out of here. Let me try to not break this box more than it's already messed up. So maybe I'll just take it out from the bottom instead. So yeah, all right. Take this bad boy out. So like I said, I'll keep the pop in its holders, the plastic holders, whatever, and then we're just gonna move it over into the protector. I'm gonna save the box just in case for a feature, even though it's kind of messed up. Um, yeah, let's get a closer look at this bad boy. Also, quickly, funny story. I've been getting very lucky with getting chases lately. I got the Baymax uh, glow in the dark chase. And then I think I got like two or three of the sodas as well. But this one's has a funny story to it because of the fact that when I received the package from Walmart, I called Kylie, my girlfriend. I don't know if you guys watched any of the videos if you haven't done so already, go check them out. But she's been in a couple. Anyways, so I got the pop and as soon as I got it, I called her and I was like, dude, like, you gotta be my good luck charm. I only, I found Baymax in the mall because of you. Like, I ha you have to like witness this just in case. So, um, probably a little superstitious, but it worked out. Um, once I opened up the box, I saw that it was the chase. And I don't know, maybe it was because I called her. Maybe, you know, if I wouldn't have called her, maybe I would have had the common again. Potentially superstitious, I'm not sure. But anyways. So here he is. I'm gonna take him out of these um, plastic protectors, holders, whatever you wanna call them, the little mold. Um, take that out. I'm gonna look at the detailing of him and then we're gonna put him back into the holder and then put him in the protector. So let's check it out. This is pretty cool, guys. Really, really, really cool. Um, I think the only pop I have displayed out of box is my Spyro, my 10 inch Spyro. I think 10 inch pops and six inch pops, I like looking at them uh, outside the box and then I debate if I want to keep them out of box or not. Um, but four inch pops, I always keep in box. This guy's heavy. So that's what he looks like. The detailing is pretty, pretty cool on this guy. Really dope pop. Just the metallic, man. The metallic pop, definitely is awesome his cape his cape is really really cool really well done and those red eyes man 
definitely an awesome pop. Really, really well done. Like I said, I don't think you can admire the detailing still inside the box, so I had to take it out, give it a quick look. And then now we're gonna put him back on the in the holder to put him in the protector. But this is awesome. Alright. So we got a good look at him. I think definitely I think one of my favorite chase pops that I personally own. Now we're gonna put him back into the holder, the mold, whatever the plastic mold, put him back in there. And then we're gonna slide him into the protector. All right, let's see how much I struggle with this thing. Protector opened up. Let's see if we can fix that. Real quick. Let's see how many tries it takes me to actually get this thing in here. Okay, let's go again. I should have probably used an actual box to kind of already to had this. Uh, I should probably actually use an actual box to kind of have it already molded so I wouldn't struggle as much, but here we are, we're already here. So. Okay. Whew. Finally got tabs and this one over okay all right there we go now now he's good like I said the, these 10 inch protectors I mean any plastic protector is very flimsy um, but the 10 inch protector is even more of a pain so like you guys know, if you put them together, they are a struggle. So I'll probably keep this box as safe as possible. I mean, like I said, it's already a little dinged up, but just for the future, whatever may happen to this pop, I'll just kind of keep it kind of safe somewhere. Anyways, so this one will probably go on the shelf above me now that it's in its nice little display, the clear display. I might invest in a different display uh, later on but I think I really like the way he looks in this clear box versus being in the actual pop box. So that's what the bad boy looks like right there. So let me know what you guys thought about this chase. If you guys thought it was a cool, one of the coolest Funko chases so far, or maybe what your favorite chase pop is at the moment. And, uh, I think for my next video, one of my next videos, I'll show you guys um, the rest of like my bigger pops that I'm protecting. I did buy a few protectors from, I think, uh, seven bucks a pop. And I'll be protecting some of my bigger size pops in that video. So I'll have to do that sometime this week. So, but anyways, that is all for today's video, guys. Let me know, like I said, what you guys thought about the Chase Superman or potentially what your favorite Chase Pop is at the moment. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.